overflows using the mind to go beyond the mind mind is an important mechanism it can be a great help in the process of transformation it works as a jumping board when you have to dive you use a jumping board to take a dive same way mind can help you to go beyond it we have been led to believe we are our thoughts and feelings and that the mind is the only faculty we have to deal with them so be patient with yourself as you experiment with a different approach by and by as you remember yourself separate from the thoughts and feelings this will become your experimental knowing we consider ourselves connected to our thoughts and feelings particularly if you are in low if you are low in energy are confined to bed and or in some pain the method is known as vipassana we vipassana means to look at again or insight meditation is the most simple way to move from thinking to feeling thinking to being this is the movement from the one who is caught up in thoughts to the watcher the method is simply to observe your breath as it enters your body and then leaves again <coughs> the air touches your nostrils and then enters your body and then comes out again breathing is a physical activity and is felt and a felt experience breathing is a physical activity and a felt experience you can feel the entry and exit or departure of breath that subtle sensation as at the nostrils the rise and fall of the chest and the belly it also requires minimal energy and only the presence of your breath and your ability to watch it breathing is a physical activity and at the same time a felt experience you can feel the entry and the exit of the breath that subtle sensation at the nostrils the rise and fall of the chest and the belly it also requires minimum energy on your part and only the presence of your breath and your ability to watch it then later you might watch yourself showering or being showered and doing other activities in your day such as preparing breakfast driving your way to workplace walking through the office corridor to reach to your office watching the movement of a phone call and so on as these are tangible experience watching becomes easier 
These are the tangible experiences. Preparing the breakfast, early morning breakfast, driving your way to the office, walking through the corridor to reach to your office cabin, watching the movement, a phone call involves, and so on. These are tangible experiences. Watching is easier. However, watching the mind, the traffic of thoughts and feelings is generally more challenging. Thoughts are more ephemeral and tend to move rapidly. To disengage yourself from them requires enormous patience. Feeling can register so rapidly and may be habitually so all-encompassing, whether they are of love or rage, that they too provide a greater challenge. If you want to become more and more aware around your thinking and feeling, the thinking-feeling realm. Start with minor irritations. For example, rather than plunging into deep end, for instance, attempting to remain cool, calm and collected when your jealousy is full on its flight. We have worked at four different ways to prevent the mind getting in the way of finding inner peacefulness. We have looked at four different ways to prevent the mind getting in the way of finding inner peacefulness. First, by understanding its nature. Second, befriending it. Third, realizing or redirecting the energy that feels it. You can redirect that energy. And lastly, by impassively watching it. Given that it is so resourceful, can the mind also play a positive role in meditation? The short answer is yes. The mind is not necessarily antagonistic to the mind. In fact, certain methods utilize the mind to take us into the meditation. For example, visualization methods. Use the power of imagination. And there are some other methods using chanting or counting. The mind can also be an, a friend when we are just starting a meditation practice. For example, you decide to start meditating for 40 minutes each day, each morning. As the time comes closer, your mind finds reasons why not to. You cannot afford the time, you are too restless and so on. Rather than giving into your mind or trying to ignore it, get, get it on your side. So mind will create obstructions. You cannot afford the time. You are too restless to do this and so on and so forth. Many things like that comes. You have to reach to work. You have to see the children. So for examples, then you have to try to ignore it. 
and try to bring the mind on your side at your as your friend for example you might say to it how about if i commit 5 minutes each morning for the first week you are telling the mind how about if i commit to 5 minutes only each morning for the first week in that situation the mind will probably cooperate because what is 5 minutes okay you can do it 5 minutes no problem the mind will probably cooperate because what is 5 minutes after all after that week perhaps you reach another agreement with the mind you propose doubling your meditation time again you tell the mind can we do 10 minutes from now again the mind feels taken into account mind feels that i am important but you are using an indirect method not direct method what about if i meditate for 10 minutes per day sometimes these kind of things do happen but we do not pay attention to it or use this as an important mechanism again the mind feels taken into account and so you continue up to the length of your meditation until you reach to 40 minutes you were originally planning on there are ways to use the mind and once you know how to use your mind you can become a master of the mind rather than remaining a slave to the mind like this is a very simple example you decided that you want to do 40 minutes meditation every morning mind says you have no time and you are too restless to do the meditation so you append it mind has played its trick but you can do something so what you are doing you are using the mind as the jumping board to come out of the situation and take a jump into the pool or the swimming pool that is what diving is all about you are diving into the pool of your energy within so you are using the mind as the jumping board what about friend you say that i am too restless to meditate for 40 minutes what if if i do 5 minutes every morning oh i minutes that's not a problem you can do it for 5 minutes i'll cooperate with you so for 5 minutes mind cooperates with you one week every morning you are meditating for 5 minutes no problem whatsoever so next day you again take the mind into confidence well friend this week can be can i meditate for 10 minutes mind will say okay you can try with the 10 minutes and i'll help you so for 10 minutes your focus your attention remains intact without any disturbance this way you can use the mind to go beyond the mind a simple yet introspective technique enough for now